Impact FBTV, part of the Football Brisbane Media Group. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here at Carmichael Park for this A-League pre-season match between Wolves FC and Western Sydney. I'm joined tonight by Fox Sports commentator and, well, tonight, Football Brisbane football analyst Nick Meredith. First of all, uh, welcome to the show, Nick. Thanks, Blanchy. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm really looking forward to this. it uh, be interesting to see how Wolves, who have probably been the benchmark in Brisbane for the last three or four years, I think it's fair to say, go up against the team that everyone's looking forward to seeing, uh, West Sydney, who are new to the A-League competition, a new club. So, yeah, it'll be a very interesting night. A couple of uh, Wolves players turning out for West Sydney tonight, the Trent Clulo and Pat McMahon. Uh, a big night for those lads. Yeah, I'm sure they're pretty nervous sitting in there at the moment because, you know, in, in your football life you only really get so many opportunities. Now, I know Sam's safe pretty well and Sam's been singing the praises of Trent for a number of years. Uh, thought he should have had an opportunity at different places and look, he's getting to run with them tonight. So, And they've still got some places on their roster to fill and they're finding it difficult to fill. So certainly for both of them, it's an opportunity that may not come around again. So they need to grab it with both hands. How do you see Tony Popovich approaching this game? Is, will this be a, a pure test and see or do you think he'll try and come out here and, and get a result? Oh no they'd like to try and win, they lost their last game in Sydney against Sydney United and I think it's important for new clubs to build a culture of winning I mean look, the result's not the be all and end all but they would like to win, I certainly think they've got a number of guys in their squad who are going to play tonight who will be trialling and they're going to be keen as mustard so certainly they're not going to sit back and just go through the motions as a fitness exercise, I think you'll find a pretty determined West Sydney team. It's a great relationship and a great advertisement for grassroots football here in Brisbane and also start branding the A-League season with about eight weeks out. Yeah, I think it's excellent. I mean, it gets it out in the local community. Now, the local community may not have known much about West Sydney Wanderers and when they were coming into the league and that. Now everyone in this local area and around Brisbane will know that they're up and about. It's just great to get it out there. We're in the middle of, you know, the other football codes finals time. So the more we can get it out there, the better. And I think this year, uh, the a has got an excellent draw in place and uh, the publicity leading into it has, has been pretty good. Sometimes it's a bit of bad news, but sometimes that's not too bad either. <laughs> Okay, I do this to all our Football Brisbane media analysts. Um, I Well, it's in three-thirds tonight. It is. I won't say three halves, <laughs> three-thirds tonight. Um, how do you see the match, for, I say, for the first 30 minutes? panning out? Yeah, it'll be interesting the first 30 minutes. I think you'll find the first 30 minutes will be fairly high tempo because there'll be a lot of guys out here uh, playing essentially for their football lives and contracts. So I think the first 30 minutes will be fairly high tempo. I'd imagine all the trialists will be playing so they'll get their shot at it. And then it might, we might see the second third and in the, third, the final third there'll be a number of changes and guys get a run. But I'm especially looking forward to the first third because I think that'll be fairly full on from the start. Well, thank you for that, Nick. And uh, we'll be back after the first 30 minutes to round up what took place here at Carmichael Park. The officials for tonight's match are referee Alan Milliner and his assistant referees Andrew Lindsay and Alex King. Elrich back inside for Beecham. Wall still pressing high. Good ball out wide. Again, pressure from the walls has shut all the space down. Moy First time ball for Campos is a good one. Slides it through, looking for Kresslinger. And short, alert to the danger. Elrich gets it back. Plays it first time, all straight to Fraser. Gets his head up. Tyson off his line. Tries to chip him from good 25 metres. Long throw. Touch off Moy. Knowles with the bicycle kick. Straight into the hands of Jared Tyson. Throw on the far side. Walls get control of it. McCoola all straight into Campos. Campos gets his head up, puts it to the far post. Haliti, ball drop, shoots, and puts his shot just past the post. Short with the goal kick. The Putso wins the header. Kresslinger down. Reardon first time. Top of Stanley and all oh, Tyson get the lines mixed and Elrich there to clear out for a corner. Yanoski's corner in. Top of Stanley clears it. Yanoski takes on Apo Kubi. Loses out. Youngster shows his pace. Back for Moy. 
Switches play early. Great ball. Simple play. They're in behind. Ball across. Down by Kresslinger. Halimi gives them the lead. No. Flag's gone up. That must have been tight. We'll have to have a look. Ah, good decision from the assistant referee. Halidi clearly offside. Elrich inside. Campos's touch lets him down. Apai Kubi gets it. Surrounded. Doesn't matter. Still got it. Back for Elrich. Moy again switches and gets it wide early. Plenty of Wolves defence though. Ball played inside. Campos again! Two attempts and neither could time could he get any purchase on it. Tyson goes out wide. Elrich with the header on. Apai Kubi inside early. Campos. Kresslinger. Oh, clever little ball. And Short comes and dives at the feet of Campos. One in the air again. Good, hard challenging from both sides in there at the moment. No quarter given. Romano. Forward. Aochi strong. Fraser. Outside of the boot. Mrs. Romano. And Elrich, I think, had an air swing at that. Yudoski swings it in. And hello! And the header goes just wide of the post. Moy. Puso. Haliti. Cuts in through the gap. Good ball out wide. Apai Kubi. Isolated. Get support now. Elrich inside. This is better play from the visitors. Keeping possession. Elrich. We want to take his man on. Doesn't. Good defending from the Wolves. We're giving them no time. Elrich cuts in onto his left foot. Puts it in. Off the defender. Claim for him. Oh, Campos is shot. Just wide of the mark. Q's ball out. Ball swung in. Reardon. The shot comes in straight into the hands of the keeper. Who releases early. Rules on the counter. Ball into the middle. Good one. Ayochi. Looks to get it back. Kato Ayochi. In shoots. And a great save by Jared Tyson to the night of the wool striker. Wool still with it though. The cooler inside. Fraser, Knowles back, good play, given away though, visitors strike early, in behind, and the shot's well off mark, Radulovic with the corner, ball cleared, Tulsok back, Puts it forward. Fraser with a touch. Aochi. Out wide. Radulovic. Takes a deflection. Fraser. Turns. Shoots. And the ball drips in. No, says the referee. Let's have a look. Oh, there we are. Wolves player clearly offside. Either gets the nearest of touches in Oski or interfering with play. McCooler forward. Again, all given away. Oro forward. Quinn in behind. Gets it across. Radovanovic with an important touch. Still haven't cleared their lines or walls. Now they have. Again, nicked forward early. Bridge, clever ball. Shot from inside. Oh, off Radovanovic. Danger not over. 
Cool. Bit of a bump. No. Nope. Play on says the referee. Radulovic with the corner. Good defensive header. The shot from Walsh over the bar. Again, Knowles, good battling from the Wolves. Kearns goes down, picks up the free kick. Radulovic, dangerous looking ball. Tyson comes, oh, a big collision on the edge of the six yard box. Bridge gets it, referee's called it up. Free kick swung in, oh, dropped, collected on the second grab. Radulovic inside. Oh, clever ball for Kearns. Flag's gone up though. That must have been tight. Let's have a look. Kearns, ooh, timed his run perfectly, I think. Level at least. Tyson goes wide again. The Wanderers look to build it up from the back. Flips through. Great close play from Bridge. In a bit of space inside first time. Oh, down Torzak was the wrong side. Penalty given by referee Milner. Let's have a look. Torzak was wrong side. No complaints in the end. Bridge sends Radovanovic the wrong way and gives the Wanderers the lead in the 81st minute here at Carmichael Park. It's taken a long time. Launched forward. Free kick, Kearns in the back. Radulovic has a shot. Ooh, Tyson had to be alert and just fingertip it over the bar. Foro, wide early. Sherry forward. Radulovic steps around, early ball inside. The shot comes in, straight at Jared Tyson. Wolves haven't given this up. Finishing the stronger. Isaac, good skills. Gives it away though. And that's the final whistle, which sees this A-League pre-season match end. Wolves FC nil. Western Sydney Wanderers won. Uh, Tony, a good hit out for your side tonight here at um, Carmichael Park. Yeah, great hit out. Uh, the opposition was very good. They are a very competitive side. Uh, the pitch was good. So all round, you know, we come away with no injuries from the game. You know, a great exercise for us. I suppose a, a, a good precursor to travelling around the country with the, in the A-League is to uh, get the side on the road and, and travel away and, and have a bit of a, I suppose, a bit of group bonding as you're away as well. Yeah, especially for us, it's a new club. Uh, you know, we've just, you know, two weeks ago we had 12 players. Now we've got 18, so it's nice to get that group of 18 players here together. Uh, like you say, spend a bit of time together, get to know each other. Uh, and that always helps when you get in a different environment. So, you know, we're very pleased to be here. The, um, the training facilities have been great. This pitch has been great tonight. So we're pleased with how we're progressing. Do you think you're a little bit closer to knowing the uh, makeup of maybe the first side that runs out in the A-League this year? I think it's still difficult to say, you know, and that's the honest truth because, you know, we've, uh, you know, we introduced a few of the foreign players tonight, but very briefly for 30 minutes. Uh, you know, there's some combinations we have to try and see who's fit and who's not fit. And a lot of these boys that come from overseas haven't played for three months. So we're hoping if they get up to speed, we should know in the next three or four weeks uh, a better idea of our makeup for the start. Had a, a number of young players from Brisbane here uh, in the squad tonight. Trent Clulo, uh, Pat McMahon, and Jake Kasheri, to name a few. Um, what are your thoughts on those young guys? 
They did great. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite difficult, you know. They've come in and they've trained with us for a couple of days and, you know, you, you're under pressure to, to perform and, you know, the boys really handled themselves well and uh, quitted themselves well and they should be proud of themselves. Sam, an absolutely fantastic display from the side tonight against a quality, a quality outfit from Sydney. Yeah, a real quality uh, outfit. Uh, I think uh, they'll surprise a few teams in the A-League. Uh, I've been to watch uh, Tony Coach and I have to say, uh, very impressed with his coaching and his attention to detail. And uh, if I were having a little bit of money for them to finish in the top six, I think they'll, uh, they'll surprise a few. Really uh, conceded one and probably against a runner play and also from a mistake. Yeah, we, uh, the last 30 minutes, uh, obviously, we had all the youth team players and reserve players on because we've got Peninsula on uh, Saturday. And uh, he made a mistake, but uh, other than that, uh, not too worried about it in the first two thirties. I thought we matched them, and uh, I think Tony said he were uh, he really pleased uh, that we tested them. Uh, he says because they've played a, a few teams and it's just been a, a cakewalk in the park. Whereas uh, today they had to fight and battle, and that's what, uh, like Tony said, uh, his team wants anyway. They want teams that are really going to test them to see what they're made of and uh, they were very complimentary towards uh, some of our players and I think what you've got to remember probably our best two players Pat McMahon and uh, Trenny uh, played for uh, Sydney they didn't play for us we approached uh, Sydney uh, to see if they wanted to come up here and uh, sample the sunshine and uh, they were really impressed and they're already talking they'd love to come uh, next year and it's a great advert for Brisbane football it's a great advert for amateur football in Queensland and uh, and I think our club uh, uh, have done themselves proud in putting uh, putting this on. A good game of football in the end I thought. Yeah I think Wolves will be pretty proud of themselves considering their two best players were involved in the West Sydney camp tonight. They went down to a penalty which was perhaps a little bit of a soft penalty. Had some chances of their own. I think as the game went on they probably built in confidence and uh, I think Sam would be pretty impressed with how his boys went. West Sydney I think you know it's another hit out along the, the road for them. I think the German guy that came on in the last third looked a decent player so you know they've got some work to do but I'm pretty sure Tony Popovich is aware of that and they've still got a couple of spots to fill as well so yeah things are looking pretty good for them as well. Do you think um, Tony will be closer to knowing what his side will be at the uh, start of the season after tonight? Oh, I think there was a couple of, apparently, a couple of the, one foreign spot up for grabs and a couple of those guys had a run tonight. I think that was the contentious position. Um, for more reports, they're not going to fill their 23-man roster. They're going to leave a couple of spots open to see what happens. The transfer window is till the end of October out here, so that yeah. gives them some time. You probably don't want to throw all your eggs in the one basket and then find you need some cover in some areas. So I think he's pretty close now to what he's going to start the season with. with yeah. A fantastic advertisement for football, especially here in Brisbane uh, at the grassroots level. A good crowd here tonight and an entertaining game of football. Hopefully uh, the first of many more to come where A-League clubs uh, travel up from down south and play against our, um, our Premier League sites. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think it was well organised, well run, entertaining game. A good roll up of people um, and I think everyone talking around was enjoying it. It was uh, played in the right spirit, technically a good game and look, as you say, the more that we can get A-League clubs to come up here. A-League clubs always travel pre-season. Um, some go overseas, cost-wise some like to stay in Australia, so there's no reason nice weather up here in Brisbane, let's get them up here and play against our Premier League teams. As you saw, they certainly give a good contest. One final question, how do you think West Sydney will go in the A-League proper? Oh, I think they're like a lot of clubs, that, uh, squads are small. Uh, I think you'll find their first 13 or 14 is more than competitive and they'll do well. Um, whether they can, struggle, can compete if they get injuries and that, um, the more established teams perhaps have a bit more depth behind them. But look, I, from what I've seen and from what I've heard there, Tony's doing an extremely good job coaching them. Uh, his attention to detail from what I've heard is second to none. So I think you'll find they'll be a very well organised team. A uh, little bit of concern whether they've got the firepower to score a lot of goals. But um, look, I think, you know, I think they'll be around and about the finals positions. And I think the A-League this year, most teams will be in contention until right up towards the end. I think you might see two or three clear out, but the rest will be fairly congested, I think. All right, well, thank you uh, for coming down. Uh, and uh, giving us your expert opinion on tonight's game and I'm sure that we'll, um, we'll catch up with you as the season progresses into the final series. Yeah, appreciate it, mate. I really enjoyed it and um, look forward to seeing you again, when, uh, as you said, when we get into the finals.